Okay, you guys are watching the Joy of Kosher.com How to Make a Six Braid Challah video. I am Jamie Geller. This is Hadassah Milner, Hadassah Sabo Milner, and this is Tamar Ganger, nutritionist extraordinaire. We make the Joy of Kosher.com flow, so I just wanted you to know everyone behind the scenes. You've probably seen our picture next to our little bios on the site, but this is like real authentic. And we are doing one of the things that's probably one of the more requested things. People want to know how do you make a six braid challah? Right, so tomorrow you normally make how many braids in your house? Four. Four. Because I, I get confused when I do the six braids. So oh, so this is good for you. So you can learn. Okay. Now, Hadassah does six braid apparently different than I do. I do. We're fighting over whose way is the better way. Why don't you see my way first before you make that decision, no? Okay. Okay, fine, thanks. Okay, cool. So, small, sharp, uh, sharp knife, not serrated. And we're going to cut off Hala for our first braid. Essentially what you're doing is you're making a long rope. So I told you guys this in the first video when we did the how to make challah dough. I don't roll out using flour. I use oil. oil. So my hands go in oil. Too much oil is not good. So there's a little canola oil. Oh, first I squeeze it out, right? We want to squeeze out all the air bubbles. Now, I learned how to make challah from a six-year-old. Okay, so if some of my techniques are not quite up to par, that's because I literally learned. So I got the recipe from this woman named Basha, and I was like, great, so not only do I love your recipe, but I want to know how to make it, how to make a six braider. So she's like, great, I'll send over my six-year-old daughter, Malka. So literally, Malka came over, Arab Shabbos, after school. She used to go to school across the street from my house in Far Rockaway, and she taught me how to make it. So I don't know if this is all true or not, but she said first her mother squeezes out all the uh, air bubbles. Do you do that at home, Hadassah? No. What do you do? I just roll it out. Oh, interesting. With your hand or with a rolling pin? With my hands. Right. Did you ever see that? I saw that technique. Like a rolling pin, you roll it out, and then you well, roll it up. How do you do that? I no, know. That, that seems seen too it. labor intensive. Yeah, I've seen it in a video. I mean, in a, another book, a challah book. You need to get your hands dirty. Right. A little more, but not too sticky. And this also makes it nice and smooth. Okay, so Tamar, can I like put you to work? I can't really put you to work at that because there's not like enough room here. But Tamar over there, you're gonna work on the second braid. We gotta make six of these. Okay. okay? Your hands are clean? Yeah, I washed them before. Dip it in? Okay. Yeah, That's dip the nice. fingertips in. Okay. And then rub it all around like lotion. Okay. And then do the squeeze and then do the roll. Okay. Okay. So we have one nice smooth braid. How's that? It's like so gushy, right? Yeah. Now you want to know why kids love to make challah yeah, with you. Right. So squeeze out all those air bubbles. And then we have one nice rope here. Okay? I'm going to give it another. Okay, I'm going to do the next one. This is going to be a big one. Big mama. Squeeze. See, soft, you're getting this? Look at that air bubble. Squeeze it out. You like the sound effects? You're picking it all up? Very squelchy. Is that the uh, official term for that? Our yes. grammar, Mora? Yes. Very squelchy. What are you doing there over there tomorrow? <laughs> to roll with the, um, How do you roll? With the oil. Okay. Oh, yeah? You find hard because maybe you have too much. That's why I tell my kids, not too much. Here, let me give you a drive for your hands a little bit. And we're going to roll it out. I'll let you do one because I do want to put you to work. That's awesome, but we may have to switch places. You can do it your way, but you do need to use some oil in this house. Do you use, um, what you call it? Flour. Flour? No. Yeah. Oh, do you use don't. anything? Generally, my dough is of the perfect consistency that I don't need to Oh, so interesting. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Hadassah has a good at rolling technique. This seems like she's like in a challenge. Like, you know, like, <laughs> know. Who, can, who can make the quickest rope? My ropes are usually good. good. It's just not working well today. Good. Doesn't mind getting too long and thin. Right. So. No, no, no. We don't need too long and thin. And that's too long and thin. No, 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 no. I'm saying it's not too long and thin. Well, don't it? worry. Yeah, okay. you're okay. okay. Okay, I'm just taking yours out just a touch more. Okay, so now we have our, our six braids. One, stretch them two, three, four, five, six. I can count. Combine them all at the top. This is gospel from a six-year-old. This is how this goes. My mom just mushes them together at the top. <laughs> okay? You're going to have to hold it just for the first ones. Now, you want to separate this out. Here are three braids. 
Three ropes, rather, and three ropes. That's how you want to envision it. Outside ropes, crisscross them. Okay? Now, this one is the one underneath. So if you bring this down, it's going to unbraid. So you want to take the one from the top. I got some extra stuff here. Okay, so you crisscross them. Now, it goes like this. This is the song. You take the outside down. This one down. And this comes around. So two at the top. This one down. Hold on. This one down. And this comes around. 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 You see I'm just working with the outside pieces? Mm -hmm. And this one down and this around. This one down, she really sang it really cutely, this around. This one comes down, this comes 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 around. This one down, this around. So you see it because we weren't all so even. So I have a little extra, we'll use the stove for something else. We are going to tuck, take the shortest one, tuck underneath. We come back over here to our messy top, but we're just gonna tuck that. And there we have our six braid collar. How does it look? Mm -hmm. Pretty, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't start so pretty, but it ended pretty good. So we need this big mama pan for this. I'm gonna spray it. I think you could like refollow it. This one down, this goes around. I mean, I have to sing it to myself. I that. Yeah. I remember I learned this actually going to the Chabad house at college. Uh -huh. I first learned this. But it was so long ago. Lift it up, I keep it tucked. It for a while and I just forgot. But there was something about like right over left, left over right. Right, right. right. I mean, there's so many but different that, techniques. Because that, like, I totally lost. What's your technique? Over two under one. Right. So I don't know. So this one yeah. comes down and this comes around. That is my, I live okay. by that motto. And here's your six braid challah. What we want to do is we want to let it rise for like half an hour in that toasty corner of the kitchen. Yes. We're going to brush it with egg. And we're going to top it with um, anything, sesame seed, poppy seed, cinnamon sugar, everything. So we'll, we'll show you that part in a little bit.